Hello and welcome to the first ever Littles and Bigs podcast. I'm Bigs. I'm Littles, even though I'm Bailey. And I'm Liam. All right, so <laughs> episode one. So the purpose of this podcast is to kind of tell the story of our travels. And so what I want to start out with is our first two trips we ever took with each other. The first one being St. Louis. And that one, you know, there was not a whole lot of meat to it, I don't think, because... It wasn't just you and I that went. Yeah, my dad my dad and my little sister were there Yeah, as well. But this was a great time. I had been to St. Louis before. I don't think you had. And um, she had been to an NHL game before, but I hadn't. I was a big St. Louis Blues fan before we met. You were a Rangers fan. So the Rangers were playing in St. Louis, and so we decided to go to a game. I was the only Blues fan of the four of us, but... I don't think you guys kicked our ass either. No. We just won. Yeah. It was fun though. Yeah. 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 It was the introduction of the Yeah, it was yes. the introduction of us starting to travel. So Saint Louis was NHL game was the main reason we went. Mm-hmm. Um and the secondary reason was for the Saint Louis City Museum. Yeah. Either you and your sister had either already been? Either we had been, and if that's the case it was like a recent trip prior to the trip that we took and I just remembered it or I must have scoured Google and yeah, tried to find search. something and the pictures for that museum are so cool. It's like a fun house with almost like acrobatics and ropes and stuff and yeah. obstacle courses outside. It in is the really air. gross though so you're doing that. Oh it's yeah, it's disgusting. Can but like imagine, the pictures are bomb. Can you imagine that in during like the COVID times? Oh, it probably oh sh- my they probably they probably shut down. That'd be bonkers. There's like nothing in there you can do without prowling around on the ground and stuff. I think I tried to take you guys to Pappy's smokehouse because I had been before yeah, and they their closed. barbecue was so good. But yeah, it was a Saturday because I tried to take you in the evening after the city museum. Oh. But I tried to take you there and like most barbecue places, as soon as they run out of meat, they closed and they don't want to get all we ended up finding barbecue though didn't we it just wasn't not that happens. night no we went that's when we went to bailey's and that's what our glasses are oh yeah i totally forgot about that yep. we have glasses from bailey's and i think the only reason we went is because his name bailey but february of 2016 so this was a while ago but i still remember it pretty well i mean i remember the game and driving around I and i remember the hotel we played cards in the lobby and Yep. Brenna wore <laughs> her hoodie on and like tightened the strings on her hoodie so that you, she could only see this much of her face. Yeah, I didn't know if uh, Liam was going to still date me after that. I was a little worried <laughs> being exposed to like Brenna and I. We get a little weird. To end that trip off, uh, driving home, stopped in Kansas City. You know, we stopped, we took some pictures, and then we went to Arthur Bryant's, I believe. Arthur Bryant's barbecue there in Kansas City. All right, so that was our first trip together. Our Colorado Springs trip, which is one that we kind of define as our true first trip together, a true first adventure together, wasn't until September of 2017. So it was almost a year and a half later. And that's because you hadn't been to Pikes Peak yet. I don't remember if like I was looking through old photographs or something, but I was like, I, I want to take you up to Cog Railway up to Pikes Peak. I don't know why we did it in September, but it... Did we take a week or did we take a Thursday through weekend? It was just Thursday through weekend, yeah. Was that the time we went to Colorado Springs to see if we could also catch the air show and it just didn't work out yeah it was the air show that was your first trip to colorado springs right yeah and that was garden of the gods and we went, yeah and that was my first time to garden of the gods i'd never been that trip kind of defined a lot for us colorado springs is where the travel bug hit us yeah well yeah because we finally were at a place we stayed at a really cool airbnb and oh we, that airbnb was great it was just it was yeah it's something we hadn't done before and we at, were, but at the time it was like airbnb was the new thing for our generation like we were everybody wanted to stay airbnbs and they were cheaper than hotels at the time and they were nicer than a lot of hotels at that price point and i think i remember now why it all kind of came up because you had taken a trip with sarah and then so you were talking about like being in the mountains and stuff and i was like yeah. oh i gotta take you up the cog railway and that's what kind of engaged that, I think. Yeah, that's what happened in the summer. Or, or not in the summer, in the, in the that was spring that's break. Spring. Yeah. Okay. I think with Sarah, that's where I decided that I really enjoyed the planning of trips and mm-hmm. correlating the Airbnbs and all that. And so I think that's what also. Well, and then you took that trip and I hadn't been on a trip. So I was like, God, I got to get somewhere. I got to gotta go. And then you went down there and I think you showed me a few pictures and I was like, I, I'm going to take you up to Cog Railway. I'm going to yeah. show you something that I've experienced that's really cool that I can't wait to get back to. 
So big defining moment for us was that drive to the Airbnb that night. In the neighborhood of that Airbnb. I just recognized something off the corner of my eye and I was just like, oh, there's like the, a dog just digging in a trash can. That's unfortunate for those people because their trash is all over the place. And then we kind of looked a little bit closer and realized that it wasn't a dog. It was a black bear. Yeah. A small black bear. It was you know. definitely younger. It could, it, was be, still... it could be mistaken for a dog because it was. We like shimmied sideways on the street so that I could shine my headlights at it so that we could like actually see. Yeah, and I tried taking pictures, but I was like, no, we ain't getting any closer. But... I, d I doubt that he was going to like charge the car or anything, but well, like worst he... case scenario. <laughs> yeah, once he noticed us, it ran. Yeah. But ever since that moment, our couple's spirit animal has been a black bear. So we arrived that night at like what 12 30 in the morning so i guess that morning and then we had to wake up and be into manitou springs ready to get on or in line for the cog railway by 8 a.m i didn't know this but you should take like one or two days to acclimate yourself to the elevation of just the city in general we didn't do that nobody told me that <laughs> yeah i didn't know either because and i didn't think to look it up like it's just not if if you live in Nebraska, it's not like you're... You don't have to worry about elevation. Your thought process isn't like, oh, when I go somewhere that's in the mountains, I'm supposed to be there and acclimate for two days before I do anything with high elevation. Nobody well, and each you. time I had gone on the railway, I had already been there for a few days because I had always gone for like baseball tournaments. I'd go play baseball and then, you know, I'd be acclimated and then we would go to the railway to end the trip. So... That morning, we're going up the railway, and you're starting to get a little bit of elevation sickness. Not too bad. I think you Not, just had, like, headache yeah. and was and were dizzy and all it that. It wasn't and... horrible, and it didn't really hit me until we were, like, at the top. We ended up inside. We were looking around the store, and that's when I started to, like, feel super lightheaded. And then I realized it wasn't, it wasn't just, like, being lightheaded. Like, I wasn't going away. And then I didn't – I thought it was a joke, but they genuinely sell canned oxygen. Mm -hmm. After the railway, it started – absolutely downpouring in Manitou Springs. We got down the mountain. We got some pizza from a place that I don't remember. It was good. I remember that. And then we kind of just tried to drive around and explore the little area there. I think that's when we drove up uh, into the mountains and we drove near the Air Force Academy. That's when we went to Black Bear Diner though, because we were driving around and we started getting hangry and we pulled to a stoplight and I look over and I'm like, this is Black Bear, what is that Black Bear? What is that? And then I finally saw at the bottom, it said Black Bear Diner and I was like, oh, we're going there. I mean, there's no way we can't. We started the trip by seeing a Black Bear now we just happen across the Black Bear Diner. And so, yeah, then that was really kind of the solidifying moment of, all right, the Black Bear is our animal, isn't it? That diner was so good, and I could not wait to return. I think we went, because we were trying to go to the air show, but it just didn't work out for us. Well, it was raining on Friday. It was raining on Friday. Which is why we didn't go, because they canceled the Thunderbirds on Friday. Still Friday when we went to Black Bear Diner. And then Saturday, we got up and we were considering going, but there was chances of rain too, so they were trying to decide if the Thunderbirds were going to fly. And if the Thunderbirds weren't going to fly, we weren't going to go. So we ended up not going. I don't really remember what we did that day. Obviously, it wasn't as memorable as that first day. But yeah, Black Bear Diner was huge. Pike's Peak was huge. And then as we were leaving Sunday... We, uh, we said we were going to try and stop at the Air Force Academy, even though we didn't have a whole lot of time because we had to get going. It was still a long drive home, and we had work the next day because it rained on the way home, too. I remember that. But stopped in the Air Force Academy, and we just went into that main building for visitors. I got the Air Force glasses. Well, that's kind of an interesting way to end the first episode, I guess. I don't know. I thought that went pretty well, though. Don't you? I don't know. That's I don't, know what, I don't exciting. know what pretty well is. That was episode one. And uh, when this comes out, pretty much everything else will. So head on over to our website. There will be a bio on Littles and Bigs where I kind of tell what's Littles and Bigs all about. It'll be in a video on the website. It'll be in written format on the website. Head on over. Uh, you can check out the show notes for this episode. You can take a look at a few of the photos from the trips that we talked about this episode. Episode 2 will be next week, Winnipeg, Manitoba, and then it'll also be Minnesota, which was the same trip. I'm Biggs. I'm Littles.
and we're signing off. I almost said I'm Biggs. That's not it right now, is it? <laughs> no. <laughs> but the dog's making his bed. It, it's fine. Lay down. Maxwell, He's lay down. Go again. Oh, dude. <laughs> lay go down. Go on, finish up. Lay down. Is it to your liking yet? No. Nope, not quite. Okay. <laughs> This is going on video. You'll be able to see it. Lay down. Are you good? I feel like this should be episode zero. Why is that? Is this <laughs> ground <trial> zero. <laughs> it's ground zero. It's trial run, apparently. Yes. Okay. And so we decided to go to a game. And we kicked their ass. Wow, easy there. <laughs> I can't tell you at all what we had gotten. This was in 2006. This was February of 2006. 16. 2016. Wow. Not 2006. That was a I long was, time ago. I was 10. Probably not good to put Bailey near a cliff. It was like a very hippie, pot smokery place. <laughs> hippie, hoppy, pot, pot smokery. smokery place. Yeah. I don't think I talked a lot. Yeah, you did. No, that was episode zero. Episode zero is going to be an introduction that we will shoot separately. No. Record separately. No. Why? Because you got to start at zero. Welcome to Littles and Bigs. I'm Littles. I'm not doing that. <laughs> you want to make this weekly? Let's make it weekly. This will be a weekly episode. We'll catch you next week with episode two. Peace. Ha, ha, ha.